So, the game season is now over. Hopefully everyone's had a cracking game season and they've shot some lovely birds throughout the game season. And everyone's thinking now, the game season's finished, what do I do? Some people go skiing, but there's the odd person that wants to keep a gun in their hands. Now, generally, traditionally, most of the traditional game shooters, hobby shooters, that sort of thing, tend to put the game gun away. If you're not a competitive clay shooter, put the game gun away and don't pick it up till July, August time. Why not make this year different? There's so many other things you could do, whether you're a cyber side shooter, whether you're an over and under shooter, whatever. You can go out, there's some pigeon shootings out, pigeon shooting days you can get, which are now fantastic shooting, pigeon shooting. You can go crow, crow shooting. There's all sorts of different things you can do once the pheasant shooting season is finished. Then there's also most decent clay grounds or shooting schools have got a general game shooting layout all the way through the year. So you could always go back to your shooting ground or your shooting school and go and practice game shooting and keep in it. We've got customers, I've got customers that have a lesson or come for the game layout and try and keep their hand in all the way through the season. So when it does come to the game season, they're, they're shit hot, basically. They're really good. They're great shots by the time it comes to it. So that's generally most people, especially on the little bird days, most people, they only have one or two or half a dozen game days a year and they, they put the gun away and then they come to the next season and they literally come and they have one lesson or a couple of lessons before they're, before they're just about to go game shooting. And then they go game shooting and that game day's cost them 250 quid, 300 quid, sometimes 800 pounds, sometimes 1,000 pounds. And they go on there and they can't hit a lot. And that's what we think to yourself, we need to get going, get practicing. So don't put your gun away, come down and see us. I would like to find out, and if you can, put your comments below in the YouTube, what you do once the game season is finished in the UK. Whether you continue with clay shooting, so we've got a game month coming up this year, or whether you go abroad shooting partridges, or whatever you do, or whether you go pigeon shooting, just put a comment below to see what, uh, what people do, where people go, what people want to do. Um, some people might want to go and change their gun. Again, you could go to the local shooting school and try three or four different guns. As on this channel, you've seen three or four different guns, you might want to change. So you've had a fantastic game season. Think about where you can go, what you can do after that. Whether you're a cyber side shooter, and again, you don't have to spend a fortune on a cyber side, but there is things you can do. You can go to a clay ground, Let's have a play with this side by side, see where we can go. This one's a double trigger, let's see. Pull. You press the wrong button. Pull. So that's the side by side. Again, as James is doing, trying to confuse me big time and move the gun. So at Oxford, we've got quite a few traps that go left to right, up, down. So you can actually simulate what a game shooting baron is like. Um, a lot of grounds have got a grouse layout. So you can go and have a bit of fun. Some of the grouse layouts, I know we've got one here. I know Royal Berkshire has got one. It's got the fantastic grouse layouts. They're great fun. So you can always do that, go on that. Over and under, I've got the new Fausti SX4, so you can try a bit of clay shooting with it as well. But again, if you buy a clay gun like this, you can shoot your game with it as well. So, let's have a go with this.
last your Fausti. Now we've got the little browning. So that's your browning. Again, we've got lots of things here, lots of towers, lots of driven, that you can come and have a bit of fun. Another thing we've got coming along in February, we've got the February Challenge, which I know is a competition, but with our competitions, we try and look after the new shooters as well. So we always have something for those new shooters, but get, keep your gun out, keep your gun going. The other thing I would do, the biggest thing that everyone forgets is, to be able to clean your gun and service it. Whether it's an old cyber side or whether it's a new Fausti or Browning or something like that, each gun is a mechanical object. So have your car service once a year, have your gun. Because if you've put thousands of cartridges through this, the biggest thing that goes in guns is the firing pins. So take yourself into your local shooting school, most proper shooting schools have got a gunsmith. Take it in there and have it serviced. An average service, unless it has to have something majorly put right, on an average Bretta Browning Fausti, that sort of thing, is about 100 to 150 pounds, whatever, depending on what you want to do with it. With some cyber sides, it could be a little bit more because some old cyber sides tend to be a bit like an old classic car some of the bits in there you may have to make by hand. Old ones I would obviously tend to service probably a couple of times a year, depending how much you shoot them. Something like this, 725 Browning, or one of the Fausti that I was shooting with, I'd service it once a year, just in case. Um, the other thing that tends to go on them, if you shoot them loads and they're old, is the top lever springs in there. So if you, find, if you just do that and you find Generally, if it's a new gun, you will see the numbers underneath the top lever. If that's come right over, if not a bit, means it's worn a little bit, means it's getting old. Um, if you push it like that, if it's really loose, means the top lever spring's going. Quite an easy job to repair. Again, that's something they will do on a service if they repair the top lever spring. Safety catches, they tend to get dirt inside them, especially if you've had them out, especially if you're going on a walk top day. So that's something else they'll clean in here. So they take the whole thing apart, they take the stock off, they take the trigger and they clean the whole thing. Chokes, most guns now have multi chokes and clay shooters tend to take them in and out quite a lot of time. You should take the chokes out on a gun every time you clean it, clean it, put it back in. Um, a lot of people forget about doing that and then they come to the end of the season or if you're shooting clays, they leave it for a bit and they'll weld themselves in. They will weld themselves in if you don't take them out, clean and put them back in again. So once you go in for a service, that's something else they'll do. Is a lot of people do tend to forget that. So come the 2nd of February, or the 2nd of February, that's the first thing I would do is get your gun to your notical shooting school and go and service that gun just so it's ready. So when you do take it out on the clays or when you come game shooting, you know that that gun's gonna work. Again, with the cyber side, definitely worth doing. Most cyber sides, they won't be multi-choke, especially the older ones, they'll be fixed choke. But again, the firing pins do tend, do tend to go a little bit more on it. So that's the sort of things that you really need to do. Um, again, this one has obviously been through our workshop, but the, the, the top lever spring is quite strong on this but top lever springs do tend to go a little bit more. Um, the other thing on cyber size is the ejectors tend to get jammed, so they, they tend to have to be looked at. Most of the time you just, um, most of the time you don't put new ones in, you just repair them, you just clean them up. But I would like to hear what everyone is doing. I would like to hear whether everyone goes abroad and shoots game. Spanish partridges, fantastic. I've shot, I've shot partridges in Spain. Let's see in the comment what you do, where you go.